I think the greatest way to give of yourself and what you have to offer is by teaching. They're trying to explain that uh, the worst thing that can happen to a human being is to have to take the life of another human being. You will never, ever forget it. How do you teach character? What's the best way to teach character education to the young people today? Quite frankly, you can put up a lesson plan and write anything out. It doesn't mean it's going to connect to kids. He had to fight his way. I mean, he fights for all of us to have the freedom. So freedom has a special taste meant a lot to me when I read that. Had you ever thought about that before? No, not at all. I think the whole idea of the Medal of Honor is for the purpose of teaching everybody that he's got a role to play in his community. So it's important to know the lengths to which some people are willing to go because they feel so strongly about their fellow men. I did not know a lot about the Medal of Honor. I went to a dinner at the Ambassador Hotel and Jack Jacobs was the speaker and he introduced us to the concept of Medal of Honor and I thought the potential for the kids to see these people as heroes was uh, you know, truly something that we could implement in the schools in a positive way. We were asked uh, as a team of educators to write lessons based on video interviews with living recipients of the Medal of Honor. So we were looking at courage and commitment, sacrifice, integrity, citizenship and patriotism. And those are, those are fundamental values for, for, I think, everyone in our nation. We worked hard at doing what we do as teachers, and that's write lessons. And we worked hard at finding ways to take recipient stories and turn them into the classroom materials, so ways that teachers could use them to impact their students. This was something you never forget. I have a debt to pay. So I made a promise. If I ever go to America, I'm going to become a G.I. Joe. I wish these were the stars of baseball cards in this country. I wish kids grew up knowing these recipients' stats. I wish they knew where they were all born and what wars they fought in and what they're known for as they do athletes and rock stars. We're trying to spread the word about what kinds of citizens these are. We're trying to spread the word that these qualities will help you in many ways. So we have this curriculum. We had a theory that you could teach these values. You could use these recipients as a teaching tool. And before long, they'd also end up studying war. They'd study world history and the clash of great powers. What a concept. The vignettes connect specifically with the students. The way that the vignettes are done, they can see um, soldiers or Marines or airmen who are their age. And the values that the recipients talk about resonate with kids. Each Medal of Honor recipient is just like a regular person. You take away things that they've been through and their personal experiences and you apply them to your own life. And it's like, once you can do that, it's just you and that person make a connection. When you take a look at what the Medal of Honor recipients have done, they've dug deep down into themselves at a certain moment in time and done something very courageous and very selfless to protect their comrades. The deeds that they performed translate into the ability of the ordinary person to believe in him or herself. What did he do that was really extraordinary to y'all? Brandon? He ran through a severe firing to help the wounded. Also, even though he was hurt, he kept moving to help people. All right. Their stories are very surprising that someone could go to that deep of a level and, you know, risking their own lives for someone else. These guys really embody a lot of characteristics that we want to pass on to our students. I've dealt with students who have personal struggles that I could barely comprehend and barely get my head wrapped around what they have to deal with. But then you show one of these videos and you know plug this into a class, it's phenomenal. It's about defining your heroes. It's about character. I mean, you just look at the reaction in the classroom from these young people or what they, they say to you and you realize it's profound. I mean, it's it's absolutely changing young people's lives. Can you share a little bit about what you think middle school kids would get from this video? That's what we started out with that quote, um, you never learn to serve until you realize there's something more important than yourself. To be honest, I came here today not really knowing what to expect. I didn't um, 
you know, have any uh, expectations that it was something that I necessarily would be able to bring back into my classroom. But I watched those videos today and I was moved and touched by it and I, and I thought my students will be as well. I remember seeing on one of the tapes after they taught this curriculum to a selected group of kids in Erie, high, I mean really cynical high school kids, saying to the camera, I didn't know this, why didn't I know this? I mean, I, I, mean, I get teary-eyed about it, but if you can get that notion to that kid, you can really make a difference. We won't be able to tell what the full positive effect will be until the generation who receives the education will have matured. But instinct tells me, my intuition says, that if you have two choices, education or no education, you're going to be a lot better with education.